Frank, I'm home. Mm. Got you that local paper. The one you're supposed to look for jobs for. Look, I've already said if I wanted a job, I'd get one online. And look, me and Tony are working on starting a business. One that ain't run by the system. I thought you and Tony weren't talking. <sighs> you told me you haven't spoken in over a month. I mean, sure we aren't talking currently, but once he gets the balls to apologise, we'll be right on track. Well, I hope that's pretty soon. The landlord's put the rent up. I've had to cancel the Wi-Fi. Ugh. Now how'd you expect me to get quality whacking material? You know how horny you get. We'll get a job and you can pay for it. <sighs> Martha called in sick today. Ah, oh, the bitch. Which one's Martha again? I thought we'd do something tonight. We ain't got any money. We could do something free. Like what? Go to the park? It's dark out and it's more boring than sitting at home doing nothing. Besides, with the amount of stuff that we've tried to entertain ourselves, it seems like the only thing we haven't tried for fun is killing people. Well, I was thinking about what you said about killing someone. Well, that was bloody weeks ago. It was a joke, Frank. Bloody joke, you fucking moron. Yeah, yeah, but I thought, what the hell? So, I did it. Did anyone see you? Not a soul. Will you clean up the mess in the living room? I'm going to go and take a bath. I'm going to get back down. We're going to bury the body. Oh, and please, just spray something in the living room because your friend is stinking it the hell up. What was it like? What? Killing someone. What was it like? No, oh, you know. No, like... I don't. It's weird, like. Gives me a real rush, you know? And now I've done it, I kind of want to do it again, so. I want to try it. Oh, well, alright. Meet me in the living room tomorrow morning. Oi. Are you gonna help or not? Prick. Right. If we're gonna do this, we need some basic rules. Sure. Rule one. No children. So how old they have to be then? I mean, children ain't that specific. Fine. No one under 18. Well, I mean, 17 year olds ain't exactly children, are they? I mean, it should be 16. I mean, that's when they're allowed to fuck and children don't fuck. 18 is when they're allowed to leave school. 18 is the starting age. Number two. No disabled people. That's mentally and physically frank. I hear ya. Rule number three. No celebrities. Now Frank, that doesn't matter if they're high class or the bloke down the street that's got two million subscribers on YouTube. Number four. No killing of anybody we know. Murder's less likely to get traced back to us. Number five. No women. I object to no killing of women. Are they thought to be our equals. Fine. Women are allowed. Number six. No raping victims, Frank. What, you think I'm the sort of guy that likes to fuck men? 
I never said that. By saying no female victims, and then saying you can't rape said non-female victims, you are heavily implying that I want to fuck men. Yeah, you're a real cocksucker, Frank. Now, can I get on with the rules? You're the cocksucker, not me. Right. Number seven. No keeping of mementos. That's including money, Frank. I don't think we should make a financial gain out of the people we kill. Number eight. Don't kill any parents of young children. I don't want to create any orphans. Alright, genius. How are we supposed to ensure we don't kill any parents? With this. Alright, what's this meant to be? I suppose there's a couple of guys asking questions for a questionnaire. But we can find out if they're married, if they've got kids. We can even find out their name. If there's any holes in the story, we can look them up on social media afterwards. You really thought this shit out, ain't you? I told you to dress smartly. I don't know if you're gonna look like a professional wearing that. Suits, ties, all that crap crumbs my style. Sister may have got you under its thumb, but it won't get me. For Christ's sake, we're acting. Get that through your thick skull. Why are we in the park anyway? There's nothing but kids and parents feeding the ducks here. There's nobody in the potential victim range, you said. Just give it some time. This is a public place. It was either here or the high street. We'll be less noticed here. Yeah, less noticed because we're not actually going to kill anyone. Well, what about him? No, he's on the phone. I, I can't ask him. Mm. What about her? Are you kidding? She's a beauty. Ask me to break the rules if you want me to have her in the house and not fuck her. What about that old timer? I have a heart attack before we get to him. Yeah. Old people are just weak. There's no satisfaction, no competition, no. Um... Oh, what about him? <laughs> Go do <to> him! <laughs> Excuse me, can I ask you some questions, please? Yeah, sure. Shops at the supermarket every damn day. Same one. <laughs> Same routine every day. Easy to find, easy to follow, easy to catch. Mm. I don't forget whose idea it was to carry him in a potato sack. <laughs> Just remember who reminded you to knock him out before he took him out. Yeah. What about the families? What? Well, you know, the one with the body. For what, exactly? You know, burying, paying respects, that sort of thing. Look, I just keep telling you, just forget about it. Well, I told you we should have cut the body up into pieces. Look, you didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Who's going to do it next time? Well, next, next time, we should just dump the body in a, in a river with the rocks in. Rocks in? Why are we going to put rocks in? Bodies bloat and they float. Yeah. If you put rocks in, that doesn't happen. Did you not listen in biology class? <laughs> well, listen, we were learning about female anatomy. <laughs> and that's a shame all that meat and bones is going to waste. We're not becoming cannibals, Frank. Didn't mean that. Maybe you get like a dog or something. Nah, too much fur shedding. Frank, you see the other glove? I need to do the washing up. Check in the garden. I think I use it to move a body. Frank, do you know it's not a good idea to just leave this lying in the garden in plain view of the neighbours? You might as well just leave a sign on the door saying serial killers in here, please let yourselves in. It's just a bit of blood, you're overreacting. Well, it's not just the gloves, Frank. You leave water on the floor after you drown people. The chloroform, you leave a drop in the bottle and I have to restock it. You play shit music to drown out the noise of screens. And you, you know, you leave dirty implements in the bottom of the sink for days. Yeah, well at least I don't leave the toothpaste off the lid like somebody. Hey, come in here and have a look at this. What? Take a look at this. What the hell is that? Look, look. <laughs> Well, 
Where the hell did you get this from? Pikey's. Ain't it cool though? Is it loaded? Nah, I haven't had a chance to get ammo for it yet. We can't keep this. What? You haven't got a job, Frank. How are you going to pay for it? It baffles me. You're going to sell that gun and you're going to give me the money to pay for the bills. Well, I'll be able to pay for the rent and the bills and shit if you let me keep the victim's money. You'll be able to pay for it if you've got a fucking job. Yeah. I've got something better than a pistol. You know I don't read papers. Read the headline. Local murders mount in mystery. Oh, that's us. Our murders made the headlines. I know you'd like it. <laughs> I found this floating in the toilet. Oh, oh, so you're angry you didn't flush again, eh? The rules. What? No raping victims. Ring any bells? Yeah, but this girl's dead. Besides, I didn't do- Oh shit, you didn't. I don't believe it. Frank, show me the dead body. We are getting it out of this house straight away. Uh, that is a- Look, all I remember is- Go grab a bat or something. But the mess! Oh, I'll fill the bath. That'll take too much time. I know. Help me get into the bathroom. But you just said the bath will take too long. No, I meant the toilet, you dozy bastard. You broke the rules, didn't you? You filthy little shit. I did not! Tell me, why was she in your bed then? I'm lonely, Mick. Lonely. Lying next to someone, even if it's a corpse, can be comforting. You know how long it's been a girlfriend? Two years! Nobody wants me. What was this Johnny doing in your room then? It's from two years ago. When the girl was crying and flailing, knocking shit over, she knocked a couple comics over. It was between them. You're a pig, you know. A real pig. This ends now. Maybe for you. If I see another body in this house, I'll hand you in. Oh, the next body's yours. I'm moving out. You're a goddamn maniac. I'm the maniac? You've been killing people too. Yes, but there were rules. Rules. Shh, what's that?